Subhanallah, first of all, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving me the opportunity for coming here today for H-Hugs. Now, H-Hugs is one of those charities that I've heard, heard about here and there. Occasionally, you get the email dropping in, the Facebook message. But we've known in the background that they've been doing some excellent work for a number of years now. I'd like to thank those sisters who put this initiative uh, together for making this possible. Now, one of the first things I did when I got here is I actually looked at their annual report. And I just want to point out a few amazing things in their annual report. And so some of you have probably seen their, uh, their financial report. Now, I have uh, the opportunity, uh, subhanAllah, to represent quite a lot of charities. I actually work for 52 different organizations uh, at this moment in time. And quite often, I get sent these financial reports. Alhamdulillah, all of them are good. But today's one is quite startling. Let me just highlight one particular thing in this uh, report, that last year, the total that this charity managed to raise was 49,000 pounds. Alhamdulillah, lovely amount. But the total that they actually ended up spending was 80,644. Now think about that. A lot of people ask me a question, you know we give to a charity, how much of that is actually going to go to use? Here we've had what, nearly 200%. Okay, 49,000 pounds was raised, 80,000 pounds had to be spent in order to keep going. The second thing I found out on arriving here, I spoke to one of the brothers from HUGS, very humble, mashallah, and he said, you know, we can't keep going like this because we're, we're eating into reserve funds that we'd put aside. And sooner or later, we're going to stop operating if it carries on like this. Now, how sad would that be for the Ummah to have one of the most unique organizations, one of the most unique charity organizations in Britain today, having to close down simply because there's no funding? And that's an absolute reality. This charity is operating largely through the benefits of volunteers. Majority of the people that are putting in their time, driving their car and going here and there and making phone calls, they're, they're volunteers. If you think about it, an organization of this nature, which is delivering one of the most powerful needs in the community, is probably paying its part-time staff 50 pounds a week. That's the reality. Some of us here earn 50 pounds a day. Some earn 50 pounds an hour. Some of us, maybe even 50 pounds a minute. Let me know what you do. But the reality is, we've got to keep this going. And today, I've come here with a bit of a challenge. That this year, inshallah, 2010, 2011, we're not going to go into deficit. We're going to be able to be in a position where we've met all the needs of H-Hugs in this next 12 months and still have money left in the account to start developing the charity even further. Now I know, as the brother said, there are certain charities that can go on television or go off to the Middle East and raise a million pounds and khalas, their job is done for the year. But for H-Hugs, it's very, very difficult. It's what we do here today, and I'm sure the sisters who are watching us upstairs, that will make all the difference. My target is that we don't want to be in a position where we're in deficit. And how are we going to go about doing that? It's very easy. The first way is to stop hiding behind the pillar. And the second way is, of course, to make a pledge today.